What's going on, guys? It's your role model of the IWC Gamers Goon here today. Um, and I actually wanted to start off this video. Um, the news just broke. Um, at least it's been developing for about the past 45 minutes that Demarius Thomas, um, if you don't know who he is, he um, played football as a receiver for the Denver Broncos. Um, he, he passed away. Um, obviously, the story's still developing. It, it doesn't say um, what the cause or anything of that nature is. Um, but multiple sources are coming out and saying that this is legitimate. Um, so I would like to start off this this video um, showing my respects to Demarius Thomas. Um, if you don't know, the first NFL game I went to was at the Rams Stadium back when they were still in St. Louis, when Peyton Manning was still on the Broncos. And Demarius Thomas played in that game. Demarius Thomas was one of the first players I ever got to see play live in the NFL. Um, so I, I want to take this moment, um, take about five, ten seconds here um, after this to just just have a moment of silence for Demarius Thomas before I get into my Bears predictions. And, and like I said, once again, rest in peace, Demarius Thomas. Um, but let's get to what you guys are here for. I'm sorry to start it off on a sad note. I don't like doing that. Um, but obviously, this is a football video. This is a football channel. This is it fluctuates back and forth. And when something like this happens, um, I'm gonna acknowledge it. I'm not going to clickbait y'all. I'm not gonna make a whole video um, exclusively dedicated to um, Demarius Thomas for clicks or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to pay my respect. In, in this manner, so that if you are watching, you are aware of the situation. Um, however, we do have the Bears, and we do have the Packers playing this Sunday, Sunday night, prime time. Justin Fields has been cleared as of yesterday to return as the Bears starting QB. No more Andy Dalton. Matt Nagy said Justin Fields is the guy. Thank Christ, man. I, I did not, no hate towards Andy Dalton. No hate towards him. Um, it's stupid to throw hate at Andy Dalton. He didn't ask to be in this position. He didn't ask to be in it. He just kind of wound up in one of the shittiest situations in the NFL when it comes to being in the quarterback room. Um, like I said, it's it's good that Justin Fields is going to be playing this game. Um, obviously, the last time we played them, a lot of players took the I own you comment from Aaron Rodgers personal, as they should. Um, that's not something that I would willingly sit there and just let them say. Um, they, they took that comment, and hopefully they're going to build off that comment and force, at least attempt, to, 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 um, to, to, to make Aaron Rodgers eat his own words. Um, and one person that I know is all about making somebody eat their words about what he has done and what they are as a collective is Justin Fields. Justin Fields, obviously, he's coming in with the mindset, um, of we gotta win, we gotta win. We gotta get this rivalry back. We gotta, we gotta earn it. We gotta go in there, and we gotta become who we are. We gotta come in there, and we gotta win. We gotta grit it out. We have to grind it out, and we have to become once again the monsters of the midway. Because we aren't that right now. We aren't that right now. So obviously Justin Fields is gonna want to come in. He's gonna want to. He's gonna want to play with a chip on his shoulder. And hopefully this isn't like the last Packers game because that got out of hand pretty quickly. Um, I think it's still a winnable game. <coughs> it, it's uh, I, I'm not very confident in saying it's a winnable game with Matt Nagy as the coach, but it's winnable. It's definitely winnable. Um, so hopefully they can pull it out. Um, what specifically do I think could be impacts of this game? Um, the ground game, the ground game, the ground game, the ground game. Um, last time, let me pull up the last time we played the Packers this season. We played them in week, whatever that is, <laughs> the ground game. David, or Khalil Herbert, we didn't have, this was a David montgomery list team, and Khalil Herbert had 97 yards on the ground, obviously. With Montgomery, you're thinking about 100, 150, somewhere in between there. Justin Fields, we know what he can do on the ground. Maybe he gets for 40. Um, the, the ground game, it's going to be available. It's going to be there. Um, I'd rather do the ground game than test Jair Alexander, test any of these guys in that secondary. Um, if you want to go towards Kevin King, go for it. 
that's chopped liver every day. I don't know if Allen Robinson's going to be playing, but if he is, I would assume that Jair Alexander probably gets the, the Allen Robinson matchup, which means Darnell Mooney could be feasting. Um, Cole Komet, Cole Komet. Um, he's had a hit or miss last few weeks. You got to make the plays, man. That's simple. You got to make your plays. Um, I expect four, five, six, six attempts towards Cole Komet in this Packers game. Make the catch. Um, like I, Darnell Mooney, Darnell Mooney, five, six receptions probably. Allen Robinson probably, I don't know, three, four. I don't know. Um, but we're definitely gonna have an offense that hopefully is able to take advantage of a little bit of, 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 a, of a weak rush difference in the Packers, at least when they play us. Um, we're defensively, I, I, I'm very scared. Um, we, we, for the most part, held our own. Um, we, we, for the most part, held our own last time Alan, Aaron Rodgers played us. He did not throw over 200 yards. Now, he did have two touchdowns. Um, he did complete a decent percentage of his passes. It doesn't say the percent. It doesn't say the percent. He was 17 for 23. Only missed six passes. Um, obviously, Devontae Adams could be a huge factor. Um, I'm very scared when it comes to the Packers in the air because our secondary outside of Jalen Johnson and Eddie Jackson, and Eddie Jackson might or might not be playing, it's very, very hit or miss. Very hit or miss. I think I've seen the collective of Duke Shelley, Kendall Vildor, Xavier Crawford. I think I've seen the collective of Deion Bush, all of them, that aren't Jalen Johnson and um, Eddie Jackson. I think I've seen maybe one complete game between all of them combined. They have been very iffy. They've been very iffy. Um, Artie Burns actually has impressed me the last few games. Um, he's he's made it look decent at what he's done. Um, Artie Burns, I think, is a better option at this point than Kendall Vildor. Um, I would love for Thomas Graham to get a shot. I would love for Daz Newsom to possibly get a shot. They are in our protected um, uh, practice squad team. Uh, which means that we could call them up if we wanted to. If um, somebody isn't able to play, Fallon Robinson ends up not being able to play, we could bring in Daz Newsom. Um, is he going to get a lot of playing time? Probably not because you got Goodwin. You got you got all these other guys, Rodney Adams. You got a lot of guys in front of Daz Newsom, but it would be cool to see him get a couple snaps here or there. I think he can make a big player too. Um, but th- at the end of the day, man, this is an uphill battle for Chicago. This is an uphill battle for the Bears. Um, and it's not one that I'm necessarily looking forward to. I will be back in Champaign for this, so that is good. Um, I will be back home. Um, I am flying out tomorrow back home, so I will not be doing a video until late once again. But, hey, that's all I really got for you. Once again, I want to finish this off by saying rest in peace to Demarius Thomas. Um, I'm praying for you and your family. And that's all I really got. Thank you all for watching. You know where to find me on YouTube because you already are watching me. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below what you think is going to happen during the Bears and Packers game this weekend. And make sure you go follow the Twitter. I'm just going to my T and the Instagram at the Game of my T.